Yo, I just got on and five dollar bond. I will take it. Nice. What are we? I think we're at fifteen dollars in terms of. Oh, I gotta actually consume it. I could get the stew now. That honestly, I might do that. Wait, did not. Oh, there it is. Okay, I might get the stew. I, I mean, obviously, I don't need it right now, so I'm still gonna wait. But I think the stew's got a lot of useful, a lot of usefulness, especially for things like Infernal Cape. And Infernal Cape is definitely something I, I'd like to try to be the first person to get one. Obviously, I'm like far behind in terms of gear, stats, and PVM and all that, so anybody else could easily beat me, but it would be cool. And there we go. I got my blistering cold achievement done. Let's look at these last few. Oh, nice. Pyromancer to the road bottom. I actually need those, I'm pretty sure, so that's cool. Ellie Mystery Box. Varric set. I don't... I mean, okay. I'll take it. Nice. We just got another bond. This is my fourth one. We only need one more and we can get the new schematic that came out, the Big Pearl. Well, it's not really the Big Pearl, but most people just call it that because that's what it was called on Revival 1. On here, it's called Treasure Finder, so... Uh, yeah, that's going to be really nice because we have a ton of clues saved up. I didn't really expect to get it, but the fact that we've been really lucky with these bonds, man, uh, we're, this is this is really nice. Yes, I got the pet. Yes, yes. That is the only reason I've been here. I've been here for such a long time. I've been using, like, every, like, 10, 15, I would use them because I really want to just get this pet so I can move on to something else. Yay. My first pet, and it's a vent pet. Woo. Okay, so my dang clip just got deleted. I just got a $5 bond from Strange Boxes. Uh, it is possible to get them from these. It just, it doesn't yell. You can also get the pet from these as well. That's not where I got my pet, but uh, it is possible to get it from a yell. Uh, so I already redeemed it and everything, but uh, yeah, nice. That gives me $25. And now we can go um, buy the schematic, the new schematic that just came out, the Treasure Finder. Yes, right here, Treasure Finder. This is basically the big pearl from uh, Revival 1. Okay, we got it. Nice. Now we have to get some stuff. I have that. I just need the... I need some components. Alright, we should have enough. I had to do a good chunk of clues. Let's not mess anything up. Boom! There it is. Treasure Finder. Yes, now we can meet... Oh. Oh. Alright. Alright, yeah. You can expect a nice big opening. Hopefully we get some good stuff. Okay, so I got the Masters and the Elites. We'll just open those up. Nothing from these masters. I'm gonna do a god sword kit. That's cool. Okay, let's open the rest. Another god sword kit. Not getting anything good at all. Just open these last few and have it on the floor. Alright, nothing good from the masters at all. Okay, we got elites. I hope I get at least a couple pieces of third age. We got a Fury Ornament Kit, that's nice. If we ever get a Fury. I mean, Fury's not crazy hard to get. In fact, I think I can make a Fury right now. I don't know why I didn't think about making a Fury. I have the level and I have an Onyx. That was my uh, first blessing, so that's kind of nice. Oh, nice! Third Age Kite Shield. Nice, our first piece of Third Age. Probably the worst item because... I mean, it's. I guess it's not bad. I just would rather have had like an item, like a like either plate body or plate legs would have been amazing. Twenty three more. Let's see if we can't get lucky with another third age piece. Oh, gilded in a ranger's tunic. Oh, third age van braces, nice. And we're definitely disassembling those. Yeah, these elites have definitely been improved. They're definitely a lot better. Shoot, better than those masters we opened. Let's just uh, spam these and have them on the floor. Gilded plate legs we just saw. And, all right. All right, yeah, so as I noticed in the previous clip, we can actually make a Fury. I don't know why I never thought to do it. Had the stuff. I think I got one of my Onyxes from uh, the wall safes, and then I got the other one from, I think, a gym bag, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, let's, uh, <laughs> well, I do like this, right? I don't have a mold, -der. Okay, now, <laughs> do, do I just click it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, then that, and then we enchant it, and then we uh, make a nice little ornament kit. There we go. Not bad. Cool. Yay, there is 99 Herbalore, another 99. I, I was 98 for a long time. I figured I might as well just finish that up. And congrats to 5 who just got that in full work. Ooh, Elite Mystery Box. Ah, I don't think I have that, so I mean, it's new. And just got 99 crafting. Woo! 
What do we got left? Farming, hunter, construction, invention, and then agility. Add the smithing. Yeah, I was forgetting about smithing. Yay, there is 99 smithing. So that is another one down. It is still double experience. So I figure why not make the imbued eye now? So let me use my scroll. So I get even more experience. And let's make it. Boom. 1.5 mil XP. 94 invention. And we now have an imbued eye. Very nice. And this should be 99 farming. Woo. There's another 99 down. What do we have left? Th uh, four? Four. I always forget about agility hiding up there. We did get smithing though. That's nice. Oh, I got a $5 bond. Nice. Sweet. Oh, wow. We just got an elite mystery box not too long after that bond. That's that's pretty nice. All right. Cool. That's like the best piece you can get. That is that is definitely the best piece you can get. I'm very happy with that. And we just got another elite mystery box. Open this bad boy up. Ring of nature. Meh. Oh, wow. We just got infinite stew. I did not have that. That's actually really, really not. We're getting a lot of good stuff from this event, man. If you camp this event the entire time it was out, you've basically got all the main things. I mean, if you're as lucky as I am, anyways, because I've gotten twenty-five dollars in bond, uh, thirty dollars in bonds. Actually, I got infinite stew. I got cannon. I've got a bunch of totems. Hopefully, you'll see a gilded totem, and we just got ourselves another pet. Okay, so we got thirty-eight totems. Let's see what we can get. Still no totem. But we did just get an Elite Mystery Box. Bless Spirit Shell Rip. Already got one of those. So, yep. All the totems. Nothing. Well, we got that Elite Mystery Box. But I just need the Gilded Totem. That's all I need left. I can finish the event. Man, I thought I was going to be done. I was hoping this would be enough. Nice. Just got a $5 bond. Uh, yeah, it is the day before the event ends. So, I'm basically just going to be here all day. And all day tomorrow until the actual update. Trying to use up, trying to get all the totems I can possibly get. Um, they're basically my last ditch effort to get this gilded totem. Kind of unfortunate I had to be here at the event, the entire event. But uh, I suppose that's a lesson learned, right? Next time, make sure that the end game item is not based purely on luck. There's some earnable way to get it. I don't know, maybe 50,000 jokers or something stupid. Definitely something to consider for the future. Though. Hey, we got an elite mystery box. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, that's cool. That's really awesome. This is the, one of the newer items. This is the uh, Sliske uh, Godbook. This is actually going to be really nice for the next update, so I'm actually very happy to have that. Hey, another $5 bond. Not bad. Cool. I don't know why I record me redeeming it. I, it just, I, I guess, right? Um, that's 15 bucks. Let's go take a look at the store and see. Uh, oh, I, I don't know why I'm trying to man. So I kind of want the teleport manual, but... It makes the most sense to try to get the Book of Light, because then the next update, Ezol comes out, and you're going to need all of the God Books. And this is the only one I need. It's going to be in Master Clues, so there's a potential chance I could get it that way. So I think I'm just going to wait. I mean, obviously, I need five more points anyways. Nice. Another $5 bound. $5 bound. Uh, I don't even remember what I said in the last clip, because I feel like I've been here for 30 billion years. So whatever I said in the last clip is whatever I was going to do with that bond. Alright guys, the event is officially over. I only have 54 totems. That is how many totems I saved up the last couple of days. This theoretically is enough because the drop rate is only 1 in 30. But we're already like uh, we're already like 120 uh, totems in and I've not gotten it. So here we go. Wish me luck. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. Ooh, I still have like 40 totems too. Like I did, really did not use that many. I'm done. I'm done. I, I was probably the most dry on this of anybody. I don't think anyone else was mentioning having this issues. But there we go. Gilded totem. How many do I have left exactly? 37. Yeah. I'll, I'll use those at some point because you can still get some nice stuff. There is no time limit. I'll keep this stuff for like two or three months. So you're, you're pretty much good to go on that. But Awesome. All right, so we got the dang totem. Let's make it nice. Yeah. All right, so cool. We're officially done with the event and everything. I uh, already did all of the rest of the totems. Uh, we did end up getting the one extra. Bunch of beads of the dead. I'll probably just disassemble these. I just want to make sure that there wasn't anything else left. Duplicate pets. Uh, yeah, and then we got tons of crystal keys. I haven't used any of these yet, so these are all from the event. 
I did use some clues, but here's a nice chunk towards the end. It was a nice successful event. Uh, I'm gonna probably disassemble a couple things, but since it's still double experience, my main focus is double experience. Alright, and I just got 99 agility. Yes, we've got three left. Uh, probably gonna do a construction next, and then I'll try. I'll see what invention supplies I can put together. Uh, but it would probably be Hunter after that. Alrighty, this was pretty fast. A lot of clicking, a lot, of, a lot of two one 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 and all that. But uh, boom, construction two left, two left, and there we go, ninety nine invention. All right, just doing some hunter, and we are about to get 99 hunter. This will be my last 99. We will be maxed. My double experience scroll seems to have just ended, so I guess that's perfect timing. No reason to start another one with with just 50k experience, although, of course, now that I'm recording, this will take forever. Okay, you should do it. Right here, boom. Maxed, yeah, 99.2277 total. Boom. Let's, uh, let's go get the cape. I don't know why I teleported to the uh, donator zone, because I knew that's where my home location is. Let's get some money out. Let's buy some kits. Let's get, uh, I suppose let's get two, because we need to make an A of us. Let's make the fire one. Yeah, because that's how you do it, Jamie. You're smart. Yeah, fire max cape. Oh, yeah, you get the fire max hood, too. And then if we go to Kong Kong Southwest, in the recent update, you can now make Titan's Max Cape. So we're able to go right straight to Titan's Max Cape. And that is very true. I haven't done any bossing, and we can now finally do some bossing. Yes, please. Titan's Max Cape. Yee. Yeah. Okay, so yes, we recently just maxed. Now, the question is, what do we do next? So this was called the Master Series. That was the main name of the series. And the reason for that was because obviously we always knew we were going to max, and we knew we were going to play after we were maxed. So... Uh, part of what we're going to do is complete the game, max out, master this the game, uh, and so collection log is going to be a big part of that. We're going to have to go for all of the big things on the collection log. You can see we've uh, not got a lot at all. Uh, some things like winter, I, I think wintertop might work now, but it didn't before. Um, there's definitely a lot of things that, uh, that we have to make sure work, and a good way to test them would be to actually go out there and kill the bosses, so... You definitely see a lot more bossing in the next couple of uh, you know videos here and there. We're gonna be working on a lot on the collection log, and then we're also going to have to finish all of the achievements. We still have what do we have. We have uh, we have daily routine, which is a pretty easy one. I just I have to get around to doing it. 420, which I honestly don't know how we haven't already done. Thirst for Knowledge, which should be pretty easy, and then, like, really the only hard achievement of all of them is the Undead Dragon 50 uh, Vorkath, so we'll have to go do that, but, yeah, you can definitely expect to see a lot of bossing and a lot of collection log hunting.